serious charges for a man who seriously injured the Oakland County executive, L. Brooks Patterson, and two other men. It's a story we had first on WXYZ.com and Twitter. 7 Action News reporter Michael Rosenfield was in court for the arraignment today. And Michael, what happened in the courtroom and what do we know about the, the guy charged? Well, a not guilty plea was entered for the defendant today in this misdemeanor case that normally wouldn't get that much attention. But when a car crash involves the Oakland County executive, that changes. Anthony Prenito spent just a few minutes before a judge this afternoon, arraigned on three misdemeanor counts in connection with the car crash that severely injured three people, including Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Yes, Your Honor. Prosecutors say Prenito, who works for CBS Radio, failed to yield as he turned at a yellow blinking light at Opdyke and Walton in Auburn Hills. His Volkswagen Passat and the Chrysler 300 Patterson was in collided. Alcohol, drugs, and weather were not factors in the crash, according to police. Judge Lisa Asadorian told Prenito he must surrender his driver's license and isn't allowed to leave the state. The 31-year-old from Royal Oak was allowed to post a personal bond, meaning he didn't have to pay anything, and he will return to court next month. Twelve days now since the crash, Patterson is listed in stable condition. He had several broken bones, while his driver, James Cram, is in serious condition. Prenito's passenger, Raymond Recchia, suffered a broken pelvis and has been released from the hospital. Prenito declined to comment as he left court today. He will likely also face a civil infraction from the Auburn Hills Police Department for not wearing a seatbelt. Same goes for L. Brooks Patterson and his driver. They weren't wearing seatbelts either, but police say they're holding off on writing those tickets for now out of respect while they continue to recuperate. We're live at the courthouse in Rochester Hills. I'm Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. All right.